uh, Dustin Hawkinsmith from Penn Live. We're uh, kicking off what I hope is a series of what I'll call virtual visits. We'll catch up with players and coaches from uh, local sports teams for some quick video, video interviews while we're all in quarantine. Uh, it's our very first installment. We've got our guinea pig. It's Liam Clifford, uh, who's a Penn State commit from St. Xavier in Ohio. Also, uh, the younger brother of Sean Clifford, Penn State's quarterback. Uh, Liam, I know you got some class going on, but I appreciate you being here, man. Yeah, no problem. So what's life like right now in the Clifford home while you're in quarantine, you're in tight quarters and all that? What's the, the sort of day-to-day -day life like for you guys? Yeah, so it's actually been kind of nice, I guess, because, I mean, obviously Sean's usually never home with just school and football, and that, that's, that's such a busy schedule for them up there. So it's been kind of cool having him home. We, he hasn't been home this long since, I mean, I, probably since he left. So it's been kind of fun just hanging out with him and having time just with our family together. And but I mean, other than that, it's been uh, it's been a little hectic at times trying to find a quiet space to get listening on our, on our classes and just uh, focus up a little bit for schoolwork. But uh, other than that, I think it's been pretty, pretty fun to have him back and uh, just kind of enjoy that time. What do you. Uh... Obviously, some, some football stuff, you have some built-in advantages that some other people don't have when it comes to working out and trying to stay sharp. What are you guys doing together in a, from a football perspective to, to help each other out? Right. So, uh, yeah, I mean, we've been, we've been working out together every day, which has been good. We've been uh, trying to get those, like, basement lifts in and all those bodyweight workouts, which can get pretty tough if you make them. And then, uh, but other than that, it's been nice, like you said, to have my brother. We've been throwing together – try to get out multiple times a week to a field or park or whatever we can and just uh, running routes and doing field work and all that. So it's definitely been nice having him around. And I know he says the same about me, having someone be able to run routes and catch for him. So, uh, yeah, it's been helpful. And we've just just trying to adjust to find time in our schedules to get out on the field and still work out and everything. So what kind of uh, brothers are you guys when, it, like, when you're just like hanging out? Are you like the pranking type, competitive type, ribbing at each other? Like what, what does your time with him look like right now? Yeah, so I, I mean, it, I don't know. It might be hard for, to believe for somebody, but my brother and I are like best friends. Like we're, we're so tight. We do everything together. So, I mean, right before he left, that's how it was. And then ever since he's been gone, we've always like talked every day. So that's why it's been so cool to have him back is it feels like it just was like right before he left. It feels like that time when he was leaving and I was just getting ready for high school. It's kind of been that situation. So, but yeah, we're, we're so tight. We're best friends and it's been fun having around and hanging out. And yeah, it's just been, it's been a cool experience. So as best friends, like I know when you, whenever you're a starting quarterback at any big school, you're going to be due for some criticism and all that stuff. But as you know, being so close with him, what's it like watching from afar as, as people are, you know, criticizing him? And, like, I know he took the, the break from social media. Like, what's it like as, as a brother watching that go on? I mean, obviously, as a younger brother, I wouldn't want to see that happen to anybody, especially my brother. But it's – I mean, it's just all part of the game. I feel like – I mean, he handled it how he wanted, and I think that was definitely the best way to do it. But uh, it's it's also interesting because I get to learn a lot about what it's going to be like in playing college sports and being a college athlete. So, I mean, it's definitely been a help for me. And then it's just been cool to watch him and look up to him and see how he handles things in different situations. Are you as competitive as he is? Like his competitive streak, I guess, is pretty legendary. Yeah, no, he's definitely very competitive. And I'd say I'm just as competitive. We've always competed, whether it's just like playing basketball down in our basement or throwing in our backyard. We've always been button heads and like you go back to the being best friends thing we definitely have had our share fair fights though and because of how competitive we both are so it's definitely rubs off on each other what are some things that you can definitely beat him at uh definitely the first thing that I would say is a race I'm definitely faster than him okay uh, that's always been the one thing he's always been a little mad about he knows that he knows I'm faster than him but uh yeah definitely a race and then uh, probably a couple of Xbox games. He's always got me in Madden. Whenever we play Madden, I'll, I'll beat him every, like, one out of ten times. He's pretty good. We're both really good, but he always gets me in that. He's, he's at, like, a different level. But, yeah, no, the, definitely a race. That's, that's my thing with him. I think basketball, too. I got him a little bit in basketball. When was the last time you raced? Because, I mean, the word is he's gotten a lot faster since he went off to school and was kind of training for that. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, he definitely has gotten faster, but uh, I'd say I've gotten faster too. And we, we raced the other day, actually, when we were running, and I, I beat him by a couple steps for sure. So, Tell me about, um, as Penn State's staff kind of goes through, you know, went through a transition through the winter, what was that process like for you to kind of stay in the loop with what was going on and then get to know some of these new guys too? Yeah, uh, I think Coach Franklin did a great job of hiring the new staff and, uh, like you said, keep me in the loop and uh, get let me get to know everybody. But uh, they've all reached out to me and contacted me and done a good job of introducing themselves. And I think, uh, I mean, they, we couldn't have a better staff right now. I feel like everything's kind of going up. And uh, from like what uh, it's been cool also having Sean home, I've gotten to like listen to a lot what um, Coach Rock has been saying about the new offense and everything. And I think everything is definitely uh, big things to come for sure for the uh, for the football team. Style wise, what's what's the expectation? Like everybody's trying to figure out like what's coming from an offensive standpoint uh, with with Coach Sh Coach Shiraka. What do you know, and how would you describe you know the system that's going to be coming? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I don't know as much as my brother, but uh, I would definitely say they definitely want to put points up on the board, just like every team. And I mean, everyone saw with Minnesota, they did a great job. He did a great job with their team and everything. So get, I know he's big on getting playmakers the ball and just getting people in open space, so. Walk me through your initial decision-making process and how you were sorting out the different schools. You know, from the outside looking in, it would seem that Penn State obviously had some advantages uh, there, mm -hmm. but what were you looking for in a school, and then what did Penn State deliver that really spoke to you and, and kind of prompted you to commit? Yeah, so I went to – when I, I got offered at the Penn State camp last summer, and but before that I had a few other offers and I didn't have one from Penn State, and I – kept an open mind obviously all the way up until I got like through like once I after I had the Penn State offer I kept an open mind because I knew obviously I didn't want to base it off of just like where my brother is at and how everything's been going there so I knew I kind of narrowed it down to I wanted to go to a Big Ten school and then once I once I went to that Penn State camp and got offered it they really showed me how like how much of a family it really is and how much they really care and I kind of knew after that camp, I, that's where I wanted to be at. And then I committed at the, the whiteout game last year. So, yeah, that's kind of how it went down for me, though. So the, the family thing is interesting because I think every program will want to say that that's what they've got going on. But you, you can't fake that, right? Like what, what Penn State presents, you know, everybody says the same thing about it. It, it seems like the real deal. You can't, you can't fake it. Yeah, no, you definitely can't fake it. The Coach Franklin does such a good job of really meaning it. And he, I mean, he really cares. And you can see that when you visit. And uh, just obviously everybody says it, but I think Penn State's at a different level when it comes to family, just the way they recruit everybody. And then once you actually get there, just the bond that the team has. I'm always curious, like the logistics of you making your commitment. Walk me through how you made your commitment, like whether that was on the phone or in person, how the coaches responded, like that kind of thing. Yeah, so we actually we went for, up for the whiteout game against Michigan, and I really didn't – they kept, like, bugging me, like all the coaches would be like, hey, Cliff, when are you going to commit and all that? And uh, I was just kind of like, oh, I don't know, like we'll see. And the whole time, like literally after the game, I was talking to Coach Parker, and he, was, he threw it out there. He was like, when are you going to commit and all this stuff? And I was just like, I don't know. And then so the next day went by, and we went – my brother basically like texted Franklin and almost kind of scared him and said like, Hey, I need to meet with you like right now. And we had my whole family there and a couple of my friends. And uh, we went into his office and we, he was like, what's up? And he like was kind of confused on why everybody was there. And then my mom was like, Oh, Liam's got something to tell you. And then I told him. And so he, he sat down and talked to us and he was, I mean, he was so excited. He, it was cool to see his reaction and the emotions he was going through. It was, it was, it was a really cool experience. It was fun. So Sean was a little pawn in the uh, in the commitment game there. Yeah, a little bit. I think we I think we caught him off guard for sure. It's hard to do because he's like ready for everything. Yeah, yeah. No, he he said it was definitely a surprise because I just kept I kept acting like I was like not sure. They they didn't know when I was going to commit, so it was it was cool. It was cool to see their reactions. What did they say that they liked most about your game? Because you know, you look like a pretty well-rounded kid. The one thing that kind of jumps out on your film is that not a lot of uh, even the good wide receivers in high school are, are real hands catchers. Um, where did that come from, and was, is that natural, or is that just a product of hard work? Yeah, I mean, I think definitely some of it's natural, but then also I would say a lot of why you'd say I'm a hands catcher 
is just uh, my, like, the way I've been working out and the, I guess, my strength, my hand strength. I do a lot of work with that. Uh, I have a great trainer down here that helps me with all that. So I guess when people say that I have strong hands, I give the credit to that, just the uh, lifting and all that. And then um, the one thing that they said jumped out is just obviously my speed and my, like, deep ball ability. And then I think even now I've gotten so much better at just in and out, getting in and out of my routes. And like you said, going up for balls and all that. So tracking the deep ball, I could probably ask you the same question about that. How much is natural versus how much, because that's another real strength of your game. That seems to me like more than the hands thing to be a natural ability, just to kind of know your surroundings and where the balls come in. Yeah. I'd say that's natural, but I'd also say that's just a lot of repetition, just constantly uh getting out on the field and catching those deep balls and just working looking at looking over your shoulder all the way to the tuck so I feel like that's partly natural but also again just repetition practice and just working working at it let me ask you about the recruiting class now there's three of you now like from the outside looking in you know there are people who are impatient and waiting for things to happen and all that kind of thing what's the inside what's it like being inside of that you know, where there's, I'm assuming, you know, not the panic that the fans are feeling right now. Yeah, um, it definitely, I mean, obviously started off a little slow, I think uh, just because of maybe some of the coaching changes, but uh, we got, we picked up Landon a couple, two weeks ago or a week ago now, which was big, obviously. And then I think I, I've, I've been keeping in touch with a bunch of different guys. And I mean, I think there will definitely be some uh, big time commits coming up soon. And uh, just guys like, Christian, the quarterback, and uh, the twins, both the Kings, and just all of them. I feel like uh, we've been keeping a good relationship, and I can see why people are a little nervous on the outside looking in, but I know me and the rest of the commits and then the staff isn't nervous at all, and we know exactly what's going on and what's going to end up happening. And so I feel like uh, I think our class is about to take off for sure, and it already kind of has. So I'm mean, definitely excited for that, and I know we all are. And this week, is the, the end of this week seems like a big time. Are, are you um, expecting some good things to happen this week? Yeah, uh, we've definitely – I mean, I've been talking with a lot of the guy, those guys that have put their top, top uh, schools out and all that. And, I mean, all I'm going to say is I think it's going to be a big week for sure. And uh, we'll see what happens. So it's going to be exciting. Um, and then uh, – Tell me, how, how big a deal was, uh, was Landon? And then the offensive line seems like it could be a real, a real factor in this class, more so than other classes. Yeah, no, I think Landon was obviously huge, uh, just having a big-time guy like that. And then even just I know he, he brought a lot of different uh, – he had a lot of different relationships with a lot of different other recruits that he brought into the aspects of our recruiting, our class. So it's just been – it's been good. He's been – He's been leading everything well. We've been in contact like almost every day, just talking, staying in touch. And uh, I think getting a guy like that is what we kind of needed to prompt our class to really get going and everything. So, All right. Hey, that, that's Liam Clifford, Penn State commit, uh, St. Xavier High School in, uh, in Ohio, joining us for a virtual visit. I appreciate the time and, and best of luck to you guys and stay safe out there, all right? Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. All right. And thanks for tuning in. We'll have more of these coming up in the weeks to come, virtual visits here on Penn Live.